All right, I practice this one. It's e key guy. What the hell is e key guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome that you uh, you got it first time and everything. Right. Uh, that's not, that's not bad. He he, he told bad. me that I couldn't call you the icky guy. So icky guy. no, it's not icky. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> That that wouldn't be the you know the ultimate branding name. No, go, probably but, not. You know, uh, so ikigai is uh, it's a Japanese combination word, and and it just means life purpose. And the way I define it is, ikigai is about experiencing yourself, your true essence, and your purpose, and living that out in in harmony with everything that you do. A lot of a lot of people will talk about it from a career standpoint. You'll see a, a Venn diagram that that shows that you know what what you're passionate about, what you're good at, what the world needs, and what they're willing to pay for. And, and that's a good thing, but it doesn't encompass every aspect of your life. And so the way I teach it is that it's in harmony with whatever you're doing, whether it's you know I, I've done it in my life being a disc jockey, being a jarhead, being a marine. Uh, being an executive at a, at a Fortune 500 company or a eighth grade girls basketball coach. You can experience your ikigai in whatever you're doing. Okay, so I'm hearing harmony. I'm hearing this kind of stuff. Break it down more big birds for me. So is it a lifestyle choice? Is it a, a thought process? Is it a philosophy? You know, uh, or is it a tool that I put in my tool belt? Um, it's actually all those things, really. It's it's an approach. Well, that doesn't that, make it any easier. Yes, uh, the answer, is, no. answer to your question, Donnie, is yes, yes. Narrow it down for you. It's really it really is an approach to life. So it's it is finding those things that that you enjoy, that you're that, that you're good at, that get you jazz. So I'll give you a quick example from uh, from my career. So uh, I had been at. Uh, the company that I, my last company, which was very, very good company. Uh, I started a transformation program there. So I convinced this 150 year old company that they needed to change a successful, highly publicized company that they needed to change. And, uh, it was a great program. And you were working for them at the time. So you weren't, a I was or anything, right? No, no, I was from the inside. So naturally I didn't have any credibility, right? Right. Yeah, <laughs> gotta be a credit. Uh, but I, I, I got them to do it because I, I'm all about helping pe people or companies live into what their their best self right and so we did that for a number of years and then i could start to see that uh they were tiring of it and those those kinds of programs can kind of kind of fade after a while and um uh, eventually my department was eliminated and uh, they they had another job for me uh and i looked at that and this is where where understand your ikigai and that, that core sense of self and what you're what you're really into helps because they offered me a very nice job no, no problem at all or i could take an early retirement and i looked at that job and i could see it would have been five or six years of just soul crushing drudgery for me personally right i know that because yeah because i understood myself and my and what drove me whereas um i had a a, a peer this executive vice president who had been at this company his entire life and he was in this this reduction as well we got in the elevator and uh, I said, how are you doing? And he said, well, I don't know. Cause I don't even know who I am. I mean, this job has been me my whole time and in my whole life, he kind of defined himself with his job. Whereas I defined myself, you know, in the sense of, of Ikigai, my, my essence and why I'm here and that kind of thing. And so, so you can see that same life experience hit me differently than it hit him. And that is part of the value of having that understanding of your Ikigai.